Angels are seen throughout the Bible as spiritual beings intermediate between God and men. They are spirits, not physical bodies, and are sent to minister to those who will receive salvation. They are also God's messengers, such as during the Annunciation and Christ's birth. Welcome to SD Case and Courses. We're covering angels, what they are and what they do. Let's begin. First, what are angels? According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, chapters 328 to 330, angels are special helpers from heaven who don't have physical bodies. They're smart and powerful, and they live forever. We believe in angels because of our Catholic faith and what we've learned from the Bible. Angels have lots of important jobs, and we can learn about them together. In the Bible, angels are said to attend God's throne, which is described as having fire and lots of angels. Daniel from the Bible saw it all and said it was amazing. There were millions of angels there helping God. Jesus even talked about angels. He said they are always busy doing their job. So, next time you hear about angels, remember they are God's special helpers who are always there for him. Angels are also special messengers from God. Sometimes we hear about angels, but we can't see them because they do not have bodies like we do. However, they are messengers from God who tell people what God wants them to do. Angels helped people from the Bible like Jacob, Lot, Gideon, and Samson. One angel named Gabriel even told Mary that she would have a baby who would be the savior of the world, Jesus Christ. Angels also helped Jesus when he was feeling very sad in the Garden of Gethsemane. As you can see, angels are special helpers from heaven. Sometimes they only visit for a short time to deliver a message, but other times they stay longer to keep watch over things. In fact, during a big crisis in history called the Exodus, angels were said to have protected the Israelites until they reached the Promised Land. It's also believed that angels helped divide up countries and set their borders. Angels are important in many different religions, not just Christianity and Judaism. And that is awesome. But let's not forget a very interesting fact about angels. You have your very own angel. It's called a guardian angel. In Matthew 18.10, Jesus confirms that children have angels who always see the face of God. Even Judith in Judith 13.20 thanks her guardian angel for keeping her safe. The angels not only protect us, but they also pray for us and intercede on our behalf, like in Tobit 12.12, where the angel Raphael offers Tobias's prayer to God. You can even ask your guardian angel for help whenever you need it. Angels help God to keep the world in good order. Angels can make good or bad things happen. For example, when King David did something wrong, an angel made a sickness come to Israel. Some people even thought that when the wind blew through trees, it was because of angels. God made the world perfectly and asked angels to help keep it that way. Angels are always watching over the world. Simply put, angels are special beings that exist in a spiritual form and do not have physical bodies. They perform a variety of duties such as being messengers of God and guardians for people. We should ask the angels for their assistance and take comfort in the fact that they work closely with Christ to get us to heaven. This has been SD Case and Courses. Thanks for learning with us and until next time, may God bless you forever and ever.